subscribe. You have to share. You have to like. You have to comment. It's just, just this is how you prove to me that you love me, same way we love you. <gasps> there you go. Okay. Now that you've done that, let's get back to the episode. Yeah, a lot of people are giving performative privacy. Yeah. <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> it's true. You made me sick. I'm screaming. Emojis over face. Yeah. You don't like to show this too much. You'll give us a little teaser of this. Why are you on social media? Why are you on social media? <laughs> Go live in a real life. Yeah. I think maybe it's maybe it's excitement of having someone in your life that you feel like maybe loves you. And you know, I've, I've seen some stuff where I'm not going to lie. I've seen cringy excitement. So yeah. I, I don't mind. You be private. It's your love life, innit? But it's like... When you get to the, the, the when you get to deleting pictures, yeah, that's on you. That's on you. But you put the emoji over the face, so that that works. Yeah, no, I ain't posting <gasps> no one until like um until it's, until it. You see this finger? It's got something fat on it. It's weighted. Yeah, weighted. It's coming to do gym. <laughs> no <Not, laughs> arm curls. Yeah, it's just there. That is true. Yeah, because it's. Because it makes it gives that it gives that impression that you don't even believe in your thing as well, like yeah. like that. I'm one to talk because I'm a private person, but I would like to think I've never been ridiculous with my privacy. I I mean because I know you, so it's a bit harder to see it. And if but from early times, yeah, I knew you had someone because of before you even told me because I would see that yeah. when you'd post, you'd post. It's just you don't need to. Be out here posting yeah. every second, every moment, every minute. You don't need to tell everyone, this is my man, by the way, just to let you know, my man, like my <laughs> boyfriend, my man, my man. Yeah, 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 I feel like that's the thing. It's like, I'm I'm happy for you, girls. You know, <laughs> you've got someone. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be tre- cherished and treated beautifully. Yeah. But I just need us women to still to still learn to find some sort of independency outside of having a partner because i just feel like the minute it's like you have someone it's my man my man my man man and i need them to be obsessed with me i need them to be about me because i'm obsessive i want them like i'm like that and it's like you can be in love with someone you can Mm. be all of those things but also remember your own person yeah your own person that's why women we easily get lost into our partners and lose ourselves because it's yeah. like you 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 have women that have been successful in so many other areas in their life, yeah. so many, and you're thinking you're amazing. Mm. They get a man, and it's like, well, it doesn't even matter about the success anymore. This is my success now because that's what they see as success. A lot of them form the identity is now okay. My relationship is my identity. No, your identity is who you are. Yeah, in this relationship. Yeah. But they le- they allow the idea of the relationship to devour them. I know, and then it's <laughs> like it. it ends up they end up becoming the, yeah exactly the relationship becomes their identity yeah. and then they end up losing themselves when they start seeing their partner wants to go and hang out with his friends and it's like why don't you want to hang out with me because i have the partner has his own identity outside of the relationship but you have now formed made your identity the relationship and then you feel like oh, i've lost myself and stuff and it's like yeah because why is it that if you have a man and that is like it's still very much in this day and age getting a partner it's still very much a big deal. Yeah. It's still very people. much a big deal for it's so even many shocking women. to some people as well. Like yeah. when you say, oh really, you got a partner? It's like, yeah, I, I, I'd like to think I'm likable. <laughs> like, what's, what's the big deal? You don't know if it's one month in, five years in, yeah. you don't know, but it's that. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. Yeah, these it's are still things. like a very much of a big deal. And obviously because of the dating industry right now, I don't know stuff. But like, yeah. still, like it's still very much a big deal for a lot of women to have someone in their life, and like, I guess it's like, if you have never had someone in your life, I guess it is a big deal. Someone so serious, never, yeah. I think that's the big deal as well. Is yeah, that because we know, well, from what I hear on the streets, that the uh, crop of men, <laughs> some, the majority, yeah, the crop ain't ain't saying a lot. No. In regards to actual commitment, you can find someone to sleep with you. That's 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 easy. You can yeah, find, so for a you good can, time, not for a long time. That's it. To find some, to have a guy to sleep with you, easy. To have someone live with you, playhouse, 
easy. Yeah. To have someone commit to you and have a responsibility of taking care of you. Yeah. In Without some stepping outside of the relationship. That's it. Now, that's a whole different ball game. Yeah. That's it's, what's scary. Exactly. So I think that's why it's like, it can be a big deal for um some women as well. Yeah. Um, Which I, I I don't even blame them. Yeah. I can't. I actually can't blame them. Yeah, because it's it's treacherous in this down. Yeah. Someone, <laughs> someone told my fiance. He's like, "Oh yeah, you're engaged." He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Bro, I didn't know people were still getting married." <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! But that might be the reality. They might not see people in relationships, people in love, people getting married. That like, some people don't see that. That's quite wild. They don't grow up around that. That's quite wild. You and I have seen that, so that's that. But it's true, though. It's true. It's true. It's true. No, I mean, fair enough. I hear that because, I, I mean, I know someone that even they were like, oh, they would like to settle down um, and get married, um, preferably with a Caribbean man, but they're like, yeah. I just don't see that happening because especially <laughs> now on this day and age, Caribbean men, it's like marriage is not really in the vision board. Um, that's what they said, not me. And I was just like... I mean, it's mad, fair enough. That's sad, though. I'm trying to say this without... I don't know. I think the conversation, the topic of marriage is taboo in most Caribbean men's vernacular. Like, they don't really... Uh, some of them mm -hmm. don't really say, oh, yeah, I hope to get married one day. To them, they look at it like a prison sentence. That's, that's sad. That one guy of Caribbean descent was like, yeah, that's a contract, and I don't need the government detecting my whereabouts. Shut up, man. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. This is me off on the chat that, you know. You're not that guy. Stop it. You're not that guy. <laughs> Nobody's watching you, you. Nobody gives a heck. You think the government gives a heck about what you do? They see it as very contractual. Yeah, because it's commitment phobia. Now, if you say that to them, they'll be like, who determines if we're married? You and I or the government? Ah, oh, get out of here, man. Because they wouldn't even be doing ceremonies. Even if, let's say, you don't want to do the marriage by government. Straight, court. okay, yeah. Do yeah. ceremony, like a, oh, yeah, a yeah, nice ceremony. ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you do it? No, no. They wouldn't. Because they'd still be like, oh, but that's, that's still part of the... <laughs> that's all you hear. You know what's killing me as well, yeah? They'd be twanging as well. Mm -hmm. If you hear a Caribbean guy talking to his significant other... He he knows what to say, how to say it. Make you think, bro, that's a good idea. <laughs> I know. But it's bullshit. Yeah. But he'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dangerous, though. Yeah, slick the, with the mouth. The the, slick with the mouth. Fam, the most dangerous ones are the ones that make you think what they've said makes sense. I know. And then when suddenly until later on, you deep, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> fam, have you ever entered into a conversation knowing all your talking points, knowing that, yeah, I'm going to stand on this hill, I'm right here. Yeah. Then by the end of it, you're like, how did I end up apologizing? <laughs> yeah because they know it flip the script they are quick to flip the script turn it around and you're just there like wow am i paranoid am yeah. i really crazy yeah and Maybe it's because they're smart with like changing the topic so like if the goalpost is here they'll, it, if you reach if you're about to reach it it will continuously yeah. move and then create other games and in between so you get so co confused <laughs> and baffled that at the end you're just kind of like not bad because you're thinking you're like i don't, I don't uh, yeah um, yeah like you know the energy has shifted when you're in a relationship yeah and you know okay maybe you're talking less on the phone or the texts aren't the same whatever as soon as you address that yeah it's like now nah, you're crazy you're paranoid what makes you think things have changed because they have i hate that as well if you start with the energy keep it up also why not just be honest but that's what we're saying in it it's like don't start on a high with me because mm -hmm. you've just met me. Yeah. Because I'm not some Christmas present that you just toy around with. Yeah. Come February, you're tired of me. Yeah. Be consistent and okay, this is what it's like dating you. This is the experience dating you. And then I can decide, yeah, this is a bit of me. Yeah. But don't give me a version of you that you know will catch me. Then six months down the line, yeah, this is me, isn't it? It's because that's how they catch you. Mad, but you won't keep me. Operative word being keep. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Well, some people are kept for a hot minute before they realize mm. they're free from the shackles of that relationship. That free my women that are in those relationships. I'm rooting for you. 
<laughs> we all root for you. And we all root for you. Free from them kind of relationships, God, Lord knows. Jesus, guys. It takes time, though. I to feel leave, like, especially a relationship. Leaving a relationship is a process, though. Yeah, it Even is. the first day you're like, I'm ready to leave, that's not when you leave. No, especially for us for men. Yeah. It's literally like, it's a thought process. Because you start with the deep and you're like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And that's when the questions begin. And then he does that and you're like, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I'm getting sick and tired. I don't know. If, and the more you keep asking yourself that, the more you keep thinking, next you know, it's like to one day you're just like, uh-uh. Yeah. I am done. Not sure. And the thing is, it will be the smallest of things that won't even be that, such a big deal. But it's that thing, that's the last straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the final straw. That's that you're literally just like, no. That's a 